Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane and today we're going to have a look at Hathor Network, an alternative scalable crypto. Before we continue with this video, allow me to declare that this video is not financial advice. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes and for educational purposes. What exactly is Hathor Network? Well, it's a proof of work blockchain network that is designed for lightweight financial transactions and contracts. Hathor also aims to reduce complexity by eliminating transaction fees and providing built-in atomic swaps and so-called nano contracts. Hathor's value proposition is more modest in nature, promising only to deliver better scalability than Bitcoin and to improve accessibility over Ethereum. It was actually launched in 2020. Hathor HTR is a proof of work blockchain, as we know. HTR currently trades at $2 per token. The total supplies over 900 million tokens, but there's only 224 million in circulating supply. It's actually quite interesting. So we're going to go for a price analysis today, but let's continue with learning more about Hathor's network. Now, cryptocurrencies have come a long way since Satoshi Nakamoto first released Bitcoin in the early 2009. As crypto pioneers sought to expand the token beyond Nakamoto's vision, they found that much of Bitcoin's base design is limited by both scalability and applications. Crypto development largely splintered into three directions. Some sought to resolve a major issue by creating a hard fork for Bitcoin, such as Bitcoin Cash. Meanwhile, Bitcoin's passionate community sought to improve scalability despite the token's limitation, such as with the Lightning Network. Other developers like Vitalik Buterin moved to introduce new technologies such as Ethereum, smart contracts, and ERC-20 standard token. As blockchain technology becomes more sophisticated, obviously tokens have become more complex, as we all know. While many tokens have improved on scalability, most solution comes at a cost of Bitcoin's original vision. The complexity of Ethereum's technology has led to numerous security breaches across the project's history, including one that led to a continuous hard fork. So what is a nano contract? Hathor also aims to reduce complexity by eliminating transaction fees, like I've said before. But they want to do this in a way of building a atomic swap and so-called nano contracts. Hathor's nano contracts are still under development and they aim to be more secure and lightweight variant of smart contracts functionalities. So more importantly, obviously I've told you that the coin is currently $2 per token, but what use does this do for you? What does the Hather token do? What does the coin do? Hather also allows holders to create their own tokens without worrying about ERC-20 gas fees or other arcane concept. These tokens inherit the same properties as HTR, of the same functionalities as ERC-20 token standards. Now, unlike the ERC-20 token standard, custom Hather tokens also support minting and burning. Any custom token created on the network requires a 1% HTR deposit for all minting applications, operations, which is refunded when the corresponding customs tokens are burnt. So we've obviously got a lot to go through during this video. Before we can get to the price analysis, we have to have a look at who's actually using Hather. That's a really big question. And another one is who created this crypto? Who created Hather? We'll also take a quick look at the token metrics, which should be really fun, and the future of Hather. We'll go through this quite swiftly because we'll focus on the key parts of these information. First of all, who's using Hather? Hathor's ease of use design, higher scalability and gas, less nature, makes it an ideal candidate for non-expert at the cost of more complex functionalities. Though the project is still in early stage, Hathor managed to attract a level of developers' attention as well as a few partnerships. One of Hathor's first adopters have been HTR FDT, a development team based in Montreal that is working to build a layer two infrastructure on top of the network. In an effort to solve this rising gas fee, plaguing decentralized finance application, the team is working on a project called Hather Swap. According to the team, this will be the first no gas decentralized exchange. That's incredible. It will be a DEX, a decentralized exchange, but the crucial part is that there will be no gas fees. How incredible would that be? 
The next thing on our list that we have to discuss and understand is who created Hathor. Originated from the novel architect solution proposed by Marcelo Brogliato in his PhD thesis at FGV, a Brazilian university, the paper outlined a method in which the blockchain would guarantee security and handle low volume transactions like DAG would be used to scale the system. Brogliato previously ran Vitalik's Informatica, an internet service company that provides a network solution for a variety of corporations' applications. Brogliato left the company in 2018 to co-found Hattera Labs with CEO Jan Martins, CFO Leia Mendez, and several former Vitalik engineers, and several former Vialink engineers. He currently serves as the project's CTO, Chief Technical Officer. Next thing that we'll have a look at is the tokenomics. Now for the first five years within the vault, there'll be 18% and there was a seed sale, a seed round sale with 5% of the token, a private sale with 8%, teams are getting 10%, advisors will be getting 5%, treasury is 24% and bounty and ecosystem is dedicated with 2%. Staken will get 3%, which is actually incredibly tiny. Exchange liquidity will be getting 5%. Permanently outline of circulation, that will get 20%. So next up on my list, what is the future of the Hathors token? Much like the network is still under development, most applications remain unexplored. Should Hather swap prove successful, the DEX will serve as a solid foundation for token potentials in the DeFi space. The performance of the Hathors initial partnership may also set the tone for the future development. Earlier this year, Hathor Labs released a 2021 roadmap, which focuses on completing implementations of nano contract technologies, exploring DeFi and non-fungible tokens, NFT applications, and expanding adoptions. The Hathor team also expects to make initial announcements for projects funded by the Hathor Network Grant Program, which aims to help fund dApps use cases. And the roadmap starts with Q1, infrastructure and tools, road to nano contracts, new features, future improvement. And this was the roadmap for 2021. Most of these things have already been created and accomplished, which is brilliant. We are now in 2022 and we want to find out where Hathra Network is going next. It's really exciting. Now, in a more simply explained pre-minted token allocation, it says 20% of the tokens will actually be burnt. Most of the other information that we've spoken about before remains the same, such as treasury getting 24%, 18% to the five years vault. And it looks like there will be 1 billion tokens in max supply. Circulating supply and total supply are completely different. Total supply is probably what's available in the near future. Circulating supply is what's available right now to be purchased. Max supply is all that there will ever be in existence. Now there's more things to dive into more helpful information on their website. And I do advise you doing your own research and checking out their website, including their white paper. It will certainly teach you a lot. And additionally, there's a way you can create your own token with just a few clicks. It's actually quite fascinating. But once again, that is not financial advice. This is strictly, this is strictly for educational purposes and this is public information. So now's the time to do a price analysis and price prediction. And within the last month, and within the last 24 hours alone, this coin is actually at $2.25. It now currently sits flat at $1.99. It was actually $2 just a couple of minutes ago. And now if we take a closer look within the last seven days, this was actually at the start of this year. This token actually started rising in price by a huge margin, but it's really extraordinary and not to be underestimated because if we go back just a month ago, this token was actually as low as $1 per coin. And at some points it was actually lower than that as well. So you have to remain cautious when looking at cryptos like these. Obviously it's done extremely well within the last month. Within the last 30 days it's done incredibly well. It's doubled in value. The price has doubled, but the market cap has also doubled. That should not be taken easily. That my friend is a huge, that my friend is a huge sign of what to come. But more astonishingly is that if we look at three months in the past three months in November is actually doing incredibly well as well. 
with some really high trade and volume numbers above 20,000, sometimes above 42, above 20 million, sometimes above 42 million in trade and volume. Is that the price was actually as high as $2.45. It's really incredible stuff. And this was towards the end of November. So we're starting to see patterns within the market, within the trading period. We're starting to see, we're starting to see patterns. Patterns that I'm seeing is that this crypto is actually really good because of its volatility. It allows people to get in and out of this crypto while investing in a safe manner by making huge margins and by making huge profits. For example, within the last month, it's doubled within value. Anything anyone has invested has actually doubled in that time frame, more than doubled sometimes. If you take into account from the 4th of, of January this year. So do not underestimate this token. There's a lot more to what meets the eye. And when you go back even further throughout the last year, earlier this year, back around April, the coin is actually doing really well as well. Above a dollar and 80 cents. That's really extraordinary. But some of the lowest point, it actually gone down as low as 34 cents, 28 cents. This was around June and July. Some of the worst points this year in the last 20, in the last 12 months for cryptos, these were some of the lowest points. Every crypto was falling in, in value and price. Every crypto. There was very few crypto who, was, who wasn't affected on a huge scale. Majority of crypto were affected. So that is my price analysis. The question is, can this token get to $5, $10? That'd be really interesting and really fascinating. So thank you for watching. If you watched until the end, leave a comment below with my price analysis and tell me if I missed anything. Let's have a discussion. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. And obviously I will see you in my next video.